Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and it's a mm, very low key day for me. So I thought today would be a perfect day to show you guys some more cards I received this past week and just to show them to you guys and read them off. Um, I am still receiving holiday cards, so as long as I am receiving holiday cards, I am still sending holiday cards. And I know the holidays have passed, but that doesn't mean that feelings of good cheer and positivity can't be sent someone's way because they sent some to me. Um, Probably I will give it at some point like two weeks and if I don't get any more cards within a two week time period then I know um, that I've received them all. Um, I can say that it has been such a wonderful success so that Thanksgiving this year 2021 I'm probably going to start at the middle of November do a mass mailing with the addresses I have now and just, you know, make an announcement during a video that I already sent some out. And, um, you know, encouraging everybody who didn't sign up last year to jump on board this year. Um, it was a lot of fun. I've really, really enjoyed it. So, anywho, let us get into um, some of the lovely Christmas cards that I have received. And you can tell the mail is running so slow because some of these cards were sent out December 9th, December 12th, and I literally just got them like around the 8th and 9th of this month. So you know mail is backed up bad. So this is a beautiful little holiday card from Goldie Tomlinson and a little tree. Speaking of which, we took Spencer down. Um, we snipped off his smaller branches and Ronnie actually put what was left of Spencer out in the yard where we usually put the large sunflower stalks to dry out over the winter um, because they can actually be broken down and used in the fire pit. Um, Spencer, essentially, when we get a small handsaw, could be cut into some small um, logs that could be used to start the fire pit down the road. So, yeah, um, Spencer won't go to waste. His needles are still in my rug. Um, I spilled some coffee in my rug today and I had to quick shampoo it. And um, this was after I took the tree stand downstairs and rinsed it out and everything and I thought mm, I'm gonna be smelling you know spruce for a while um, but that's okay it's a nice smell especially with the heat on you know but certainly the little fellow won't go to waste um, his remains of uh, what's left of the tree can be used in fire pit so it is sad, and it is sad, and I always feel a twinge of sadness on decorating a tree, even though this was not a good Christmas for us still. It was sad on decorating, but it gives me resolve that this year will be better, and that's what I keep trying to tell myself. So anyway, I got off track. Sorry about that. Goldie's card says, Happy Holidays to you and your family. Sharon and Ronnie, Merry Christmas and a very blessed New Year. Sharon, I love all your videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Goldie Tomlinson and family. And I love the little Christmas tree. Very, very cute. And um, as I said, this card was sent out December 12th. So it is crazy to think of how messed up um, the mail is. Absolutely, positively <clears throat> positively crazy. Now, I received two cards from Cindy Colston. And the first one is a sympathy card. And it says, with deepest sympathy on the loss of your mother. Prayers for peace during this difficult time. 
I lost my mom in 2008. She was barely 69 years old. She had strokes several times. I miss her every day. But she is here with me. I can feel her touch me. I smell her perfume. So always know your mom is still with you. Um, I want to say several days ago, uh, Ronnie was in the parlor and I was walking down my hallway and there was just this one small spot, which literally if you stood like right where this scent was, you'd be looking right into the parlor at Ronnie sitting on the chair. And it was the strongest smell of flowers only in that one spot. And I even said to him, don't you smell those flowers? And he was like, no, what flowers? I saw Lily, like, walked right through it, and I stopped, like, whoa. And I got the chills, and when I walked back through it, I got the chills, and I'm like, whoa. I'm like, Mom? And I was looking around, and I'm like, Mom? And I thought maybe she was watching Ronnie or, you know, just trying to get his attention. I don't know. A similar scent was in my room the other day, actually, too. Um, I had thought that maybe I left my wax burner on, but I looked and it, I didn't even have that particular type of scent in the actual wax burner. And I'm like, nah, I'm looking around and I'm thinking, okay, mom, I said, I guess you stop by. I said, well, hi. I said, I miss you. And it would make sense because my mom had been here several times, both upstairs when we had Christmases at Easter and that upstairs. Um, down here, we had Christmas and that. So it, it would make sense. You know, she, she took naps here. She ate here. She came to visit. Um, and it would be very comforting to me if I, I knew that she actually, you know, did make an appearance. So I've been taking some size all because I really want my sniffer to be working at top top speed um it will pick up if i if i happen to smell certain flowers again um like ronnie can sense i guess if it's his dad and i just have a feeling this time around it was a woman and i'm inclined to think it was my mom sharon made the beautiful made memory of her beautiful soul help you find strength and know peace Cindy Colston. Thank you, Cindy. I really, really appreciate it. I'll keep a little heart stickers. And a very beautiful card. Thank you. Um, I'm going to be maybe later on this week trying to put together a, I want to say, a memory video for my mom, her birthday. Is coming up January 17th. She would have been 81 years old. And I have other pictures on my laptop and I want to try to put them together from different holidays and everything. Take pictures off of my Facebook and just, um, just, I guess, like put together a nice, a nice memory video of her like a slideshow sort of effect. Um, just showing her over the years, you know. There's a lot of pictures of her I wish I had. I had scrapbooks and that and been stolen off me years ago by a certain <laughs> creep person I thought was a friend. Um, and I can never get those pictures back, so Unfortunately, you know, the pictures I have on Facebook, some of them I did get from my daughter-in-law and I was able to repost them on my Facebook. Um, but some I just lost and I could never get back. And it really stinks because I had all these pictures of my children and me when I was young, my, my kids, and then my grandchildren, their hospital birth announcements and everything. And a lot of that stuff you just cannot replace. So it really gets my goat that um, if someone wanted to keep my scrapbooks, I mean, I wouldn't care if they kept my clothes. 
I didn't even care if they would have kept my DVDs or CDs, whatever. Well, I would have cared about some of them, but the most important thing to me out of all that stuff was my scrapbooks. Because my granddaughter and I spent a whole year of organizing two big stuffed scrapbooks I had. Um, basically, like in chronological order of my life, and then my children, and then my grandchildren. And all that time and memories and effort just just gone. It just shows people are very ignorant. And those type of people, um, I choose not to involve myself with, you know. Then Cindy sent me a beautiful Christmas card. And this was sent out the day my mom passed away. December 16th. Merry Christmas. And this is so pretty. I love this wreath, the simplicity of it with just the, the red berries. Like, oh my gosh, I seen that and I thought, ooh, I think I would want to do one like that. Just, just make some, uh, make a simple one with red berries. And then maybe do one where it's spray painted, the berries are painted like gold or silver. Maybe with some small pine cones and that would look real pretty. But a wreath with just the plain berries and that would be beautiful for fall going into winter. Yeah, and then see a future DIY there. Sharon and Ronnie, wishing you a season is filled with cheer and happy memories that last all year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Cindy Colson. And again, beautiful card. And I like that wreath, the simplicity of it. So thank you so, so much, Cindy. Um, I do appreciate it. I really, truly do. Um, let me see here. I do have a letter. Um, I have been, I guess you could say, writing a little bit uh, with one of my subs. And um, I'm enjoying that because... It's, you know, something that a lot of people don't really do anymore. And um, sometimes to just, like, talk about things and put them on paper, um, it's very therapeutic, you know? And it's so much more personal than just sending an email. I'm sorry, but each one of these lovely cards that I have received, no email card would ever have meant the same as getting something like that. So when the cards are all done being sent out, I do have a card hanger. Um, probably going to get one or two, or maybe this year in the Christmas DIY, I will actually get some of that fake green garland again and attach clips and make one. And pretty much just put it like around and decorate with holiday cards from previous year. And then just allow room for new cards would be fun. Um, and then as I get more cards, I can expand the garland to include more cards, which would be actually pretty cool. Um, I remember I used to decorate with cards. I would have them like going along an archway. Um, going all the way around with little thumbtacks and everything, or tape. That was nice, because you could just flip it open and read it, see who it was from, and know what year it came from, you know? A lot of memories, and, um, I'm a very sentimental person, so, yeah. Um, so, I did receive a letter from someone that I have been writing to. And my friend Donna in Las Vegas, um, she sent this really adorable little card. And it says, happy birthday. And this was sent to the day before my birthday, the day my mom passed, December 16th. Happy belated birthday to Ronnie, because his birthday was in November. And happy birthday, Sharon. Love Donna and Jimmy Kim Boris. Hope your day, your special day is full of many blessings. Um, I pretty much slept through my birthday. I was just exhausted and 
very heartbroken. And um, so I pretty much looked through my birthday. Didn't even make my tips of sheet cake. Um, maybe this year, you know. Um, maybe in my mom's honor, I'll make a tips of sheet cake. Um, it, it was just December was so unexpected. Two deaths in less than two weeks. Well, two weeks. Um, just changed everything for my family and for my cousin, for me and Ronnie, for my oldest son, um, for my grandkids with my mom passing. Um, really, really did. And it's, um, it's going to be an adjustment, you know, but, um, I'll be okay. We'll be okay. We'll be back. So I want to say thank you, Donna, for the adorable birthday card. Um, I do actually have to email you soon, I promise, this week. And um, get you caught up to speed on everything that has been going on the past couple of years. And how and when I came to be on YouTube. It's a funny story. And I'm sure you will get a laugh out of it. So here's a few more holiday cards. Um, Santa Claus. Dear Sharon, Oreo, and Feisty, just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Great New Year. I love your videos and watch them all the time. I hope all is well with you. Many blessings. Take care and stay safe. Wishing for a very Merry Christmas. Sincerely, Glenda Weston Scout. I hope I pronounce your name the right way, Glenda. Um, I want to say thank you so, so much for the adorable Christmas card. And yeah, see, her card was sent out before Christmas too. And I just got it now. It's like, oh my goodness, absolutely crazy, you know, like just just so crazy and the last card I got was from Kathy um, myself from Callie and uh, she sent me some Marlboro coupons because um, these are two dollars off of half coupons and I don't get them in the mail anymore um, I could get them, I get like, if I get them, I get a dollar fifty. I don't get the two dollar. Maybe it's a different but states or something. I don't, I don't know. But, um, she said, Dear Sharon, I wanted to see if you could use these coupons here. My son gets them and no one smokes in my family. So I was wondering if you want or could use them. I know that they are expensive and... You'll like the savings. You're a bright spot in so many lives. Signed, Catherine. And this is a very sweet card. I like that. And um, it was making me think of sunflowers. And this is adorable. And you'll never believe this, guys. Kathy mailed this December 9th from Hema, California, December 9th. And I literally just got it January 8th. So, mail is just so, so crazy. So, I do have some cards and letters going back out in response. Um, as I said, as long as I still receive them, I will be sending them back out. Because that is what the card exchange was all about. Well, guys, I know I babbled a little bit, but... Thank you so, so much for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video tomorrow, a small five below haul. I did a little bit of shopping online and I got some cool stuff I wanted to show you guys. It's clothing. So take care. Have a great evening. I'll see you all on my next one.